Question 23 is a probability tree and we're told we have 10 tulip bulbs and they're either going to be red or they're going to be yellow and she takes two tulips at random and she plants them. So you've got to always think to yourself, does the, the first bulb affect the second one? And of course the answer here is yes, because whatever you take is going to change what is left if they're not being put back. The key words are, does it say the bulbs are being put back in? No. It means they're not, so this result is going to have an effect on this one. It's what we call conditional probability. Now, with probability, either side of the branch must always add up to 1, because it is certain, hence a 1, that it's going to be either a red or a yellow. So that has to be 3 over 10. Now, this is where it gets a bit trickier. If it was a red, that means there is now six possible reds to be chosen. And where there was ten before, if we've chosen a red, now there's only nine. And this must add up to one because it's still either a red or a yellow, so that must be three over nine. Because if I've taken a red, there are still three yellows. So let's do the yellow to yellow. If one is yellow, then there's only two going to be left out of the nine. So therefore, this must be seven out of nine. And there you get two marks. So this says at least one of the bulbs will be yellow. So here, if we go yellow and then yellow, at least one is yellow. If we go yellow then red, at least one of these is yellow. If we go red first but then yellow, we still get at least one being yellow. The only way we can't get at least one yellow is going red-red, so we're not interested in that one. So to find the probability, it's very simple. That and then that, so we're multiplying these two fractions. Because the prob probability has got to get smaller, it's got to be less likely to have two outcomes. If we add it, the number gets bigger. So that is 21 over 90, that one is 21 over 90, and this one is 6 over 90. So there are three ways which we can get at least one being yellow. That way, or that way, or that way. And if you combine these together, you get 42 plus 6 is 48. So it's a 48 out of 90 chance that at least one of your tulips will grow to be yellow. I'd probably put some of this working down here, where you're going to have to, otherwise I think you haven't done it.